Hendrik Poinar is an expert on ancient DNA, the genetic material that can remain in a person's bones long after they die. In 2012, he traveled to Badia Pozzoveri to find victims of the Black Death. The plague, or the Black Death, killed half of Europe's population between 1348 and 1350. It also hit Italy hard in 1348. The church at Badia Pozzoveri in Altipasio was on a pilgrimage route. The pilgrims probably carried the plague with them. Hendrik Poinar knows a lot about the Black Death. He has reconstructed the genome of the microbe that caused it, Yersinia pestis. Poinar wants to figure out what made this strain so deadly in medieval times, and maybe help prevent a new epidemic. Near the side of the church, researchers find teeth, jaws, and bones. Some of the burial trenches date back to the 14th century, just the right age for plague. One deep trench holds a jaw with teeth still embedded in a wall of dirt. This is a big find. That's because teeth are the best source of ancient DNA, especially if they haven't been contaminated by people handling them. But first, they have to be excavated. Archaeologist Giuseppe Vercellati uses a dental pick to try to loosen the jaw. This is delicate work. They can't damage the bone. But Poinar's not ready to give up. Still, the teeth don't budge. Eventually, the researchers give up on the jaw. The field season at Badia Pozzoveri is ending. But all is not lost. Poinar is able to yank teeth out of other ancient jaws. He'll test them, looking for DNA from many pathogens, such as syphilis, tuberculosis, and the plague. Ultimately, Poinar ends up with about 40 teeth to take home to his lab at McMaster University in Toronto. And when he gets home he gets a sweet surprise. Giuseppe Vercellati has finally extracted that jaw and sent a tooth along. Eventually, Poinar hopes to know for sure just what microbe killed the people of Badia Pozzoveri 700 years ago.